about this bubble thing. Yeah. They said that they put this uh, me, 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 methane. In Which we're using as a fuel. Washing up liquid. To make lots of nice oxygen and methane bubbles. The one that you use to wash your dishes. And water together. Yes, we've got that. We're making bubbles. Come on, get on with it. Water on our hands and we go like that. And then we put a glowy splint into it. <laughs> and it goes boom! <laughs> <laughs> Finally a lash you got there. It's a good flying. Superb! This is an example of combustion. Let's see that in slow motion. The reactants consist of methane, gas and oxygen. We add a little bit of heat energy just to get it going and then the products are carbon dioxide, water and heat and light energy. Combustion is therefore a sequence of exothermic chemical reactions between a fuel and an oxidant, accompanied by the production of heat and other chemical products. Combustion is an exothermic reaction. This means it transfers energy to its surroundings. Which reminds me... Who cares? Well you should, to be honest. Combustion accounts for 90% of the world's energy. And we're not just talking about fossil fuel power stations, we're also talking about transport, cars, planes, trains, ships, even rockets. They all use fuels that make use of combustion. Combustion! I mean it! Who cares? We all need to care. Combustion is great at making energy, but the waste products gain off like CO2, sulfur dioxide and nitrous oxides cause real problems for the environment. Fossil fuels still account for most of Britain's energy. Here I am somewhere in Britain, off a motorway, and there's a big coal fire power station behind me. You see steam coming out of the cooling towers. It's also giving out lots of carbon dioxide. This is a greenhouse gas, and it's not good news. Greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide cause global warming. But even if we start using more renewable fuels like wind power, it's still not going to solve the problem. Fossil fuels are going to be around for years and years, as I found out when I popped over to China. China is booming. With its rapidly growing economy, its use of combustion is growing all the time. Here I am in Shanghai, with a population of 20 million people. That's 20 million people who all want to own a car. And even now, they have to take it in turns to drive an alternate days, because the infrastructure of Shanghai just can't handle it. China has the fastest growing car market in the world. That's well over a billion people trying to improve their lives and get their hands on modern technology powered by combustion. China is also going to become one of the biggest producers of greenhouse gases. But it's not just cars. As China gets richer and richer and people use more and more energy, more lights, more trains, more planes, then the amount of combustion is going to go up and up. And that means one thing, more carbon dioxide. So, that's all from China. Bye for now. Back to me in the studio. Bye. For combustion to occur, three things must be present. Fuel, oxygen and a source of heat. As a result of combustion, heat is released along with carbon dioxide and water. Carbon dioxide causes global warming. Complete combustion is almost impossible to achieve. Most combustion reactions are only partial. This leads to the production of other pollutants which can cause things like acid rain. <laughs> What? <laughs>